If you clicked on this video, then I applaud you. Not only because you have a lot of guts, but also because you are now officially an accomplice to a crime, because today we will be playing banned video games. So if you're in a country in which one of these video games is banned, then this might not turn out too great for you. But I have to say, no matter what, I'm glad that you're here. And I know what you guys are thinking, but no, YouTube definitely didn't reach out to me via email to ask me to play a game so I can continue to be categorized as a gaming channel. That definitely didn't happen. I'm not sure why you would even think that. But with that being said, buckle up, here we go. The first game that we will be playing today is called Karma a 1997 game in which you basically go around pedestrians with a car. So this game is actually banned outright in Buenos Aires, Argentina, as well as the UK and Germany, although there's some versions that exist. They're just heavily censored. I think it's Australia as well. All right, so here it is, Carmageddon 64. Press start. Yes, ma'am. Or sir. Look like Joe Rogan. There's no reason that a game from 1997 with these graphics should be banned anywhere. Okay, so here we are, and hopefully I can show you stuff that your government doesn't want you to see. What did the- uh, hold on, give me a shot. Wait a second. I don't even know how to use the controls and they're already bumping into me. Okay, we finally figured out. So this is the thing. So you see how I'm hitting all these zombies? They consider that to be vehicular manslaughter. And so, okay, this guy is really annoying me. Okay, it's like he's willing to sabotage himself for the sake of taking me down. Like, I get that I'm a threat, but can we chill out a little bit? All right, let's do some more illegal activity because the governments don't want you to see this. What I'm doing here is illegal. YouTube's gonna take this video down. That's how crazy what I'm doing and showing you is. Take that Germany. Yeah, you are wasted. Look at that. They're talking about booze too. This is a terrible game. Okay, so what if I'm wasted? Give me another life. Let's go to race number two. Maybe this is a bit better. So look at this. This used to be, look at that. And you actually get points. They incentivize you. I'm getting like 300, 1500. I'm getting combos. I guess these cars are protecting. I don't love the fact that these cars are just not on my side. But this game is rampage. Argentina, UK, Germany. Look at this, guys. Look how crazy I'm driving. Yeah, you guys hate to see that. All right, bonus. How do I use that? Oh, I think I just used it. A little rampage. Very nice. All right, so that game's banned. This next game we're playing is called Condemned, and it's banned in Germany because of depictions of violence. There's actually an entire series to this game, so there's many. We're going to be playing the original. Okay, it already looks a bit scary. Condemned Criminal Origins. There's a ghost in the corner here. Uh, oh, that's already... I could see maybe... Like right off the bat, why there's some issues with this, especially in Germany. What I don't understand is why they would ban a game instead of just making it like a mature rating. It has to be really bad if it's going to be banned. I'm expecting something terrible. All right, so here we have our protagonist turning the dark alleyway corner. Hopefully he's nothing crazy happening here. All right, not bad. Just a police car. There's my guy. Nice and pixelated. Thomas, I don't got all day here. Let's get a move on. Okay, okay. People are scared. We need to get this one. Follow me. Bodies this way. Bodies this way? Oh, no. Okay, so it's one of these games. First person shooter. Follow the detective. Sure thing. You gotta crouch to get under the tape. Yeah, I know. I've, I've played these games before. I wonder what we are gonna find here. Oh my gosh! Okay, there's rats. Definitely in New York City. All right, Becker, what are you gonna show me? Oh my gosh, what is this? Oh, we definitely have to blur that. That is some nudity. Oh my gosh! Wow, no wonder this is band. Jeez, look at that. And look what they did to the kids. <gasps> oh my gosh, all these kids they did this to? They beheaded one, two, three, four, five kids, and then they killed the parents at the dinner table. Well, regardless, I could see why this game is banned. I'm sure it gets much worse than this. But if you're German, I'm sorry that you had to watch this. Really, I didn't uh, I didn't mean to scare you. All right, so this next game that's banned in the United Kingdom is called The Punisher, and it's based on, as you saw, like the Marvel character, The Punisher. And we're gonna see why, because apparently there's a ton of graphic violence in this game but my hopes aren't super high because it's like from 1990. On that day, the Castle family accidentally discovered a brutal mob killing. Oh, I mean, that's already, okay. It's already a little bit graphic. Oh my gosh, what an opening sequence. I don't even know if we could show that. On that day, Frank Castle died and that I was born. So what, this is the Punisher. What is the Punisher's story? I know nothing about these Marvel characters. I am the Punisher, he exclaims. If you're guilty, you're dead. All right, so he's kind of like a light Yagami. He just like chooses who is good, who's bad. Insert coin. Well, I'm not doing that. So I'm just going to play as such. This is me. I'm kind of snapping right now. This is, cons you're telling me this is the violence that the UK can't handle. You guys have peaky blinders. You guys have stabbings on the street in London and you can't take a little bit of punishing from the Punisher. Okay, here we go. Round two. Now I'm uh, like a GI Joe. Oh, look at this. It is a good amount of violence for 1993. Lots of guns, lots of tossing. He's got a really good suplexes. Free the monkeys. Oh, I don't mean you. That sounded a little racist. Uh, okay, there is def that's definitely a monkey in there, is it? Is it not? And also, why am I snapping? Oh, Nick Fury. I've heard of him before. What is he in? He's 
he's definitely in like uh, like Avengers Nick Fury, isn't he? Is this the same Nick Fury that I'm thinking of? And I believe this game is also banned in a lot of the Middle East just because there was a ton of violence. But again, like the extent to this violence, bam, bam, bam. It looks like these like Jojo letters coming out every time he engages in an action. All right, I'd say this was very fun. I don't know why the Punisher is banned in the UK. I think they should bring it back. They, I don't know if they made like a modern version of this game, but what you just watched is apparently banned. So if you're in the UK, don't worry, I won't say anything. Next up, we have Roblox, which is actually banned in Oman, Jordan, the UAE, and a couple other of the Middle Eastern countries, mainly because of its use of profanity and obscenity throughout the game. Now, I've never actually played Roblox before, but I just downloaded it and created my avatar. My guy's name is Taco Truck Man 9. I don't even know how to play. So is this like Minecraft? And why is this banned? I want to do something that's bannable. So you can enter a car. So it's like GTA. Oh my gosh. I didn't create this. This was like one of the pre-populated worlds. But Roblox is basically like a sandbox game. Like you could do whatever you want with it, right? Like I could communicate with people. I could play mini games. I guess I could drive cars. Probably could shoot weapons. I don't know how to play. I'm just in like a random game mode. Does anybody want to come with me? How do I change what I'm wearing? Oh, let's go in here. Okay, so now what? Three, two, one. Me and Governor Joe seem to be locked into here. So is it like seven seconds in heaven? Seven minutes in heaven? You know that game? The hotel. All right, so I don't know why this is banned. This game is great. Can't leave. What am I supposed to do? Just survive? Is this like a survival game? Is there somebody chasing me? I feel like there is. And if that's true, then I'm actually freaking out right now. Okay, keep it moving. Keep it moving. Can't get through here. Can't get through here. This door is openable. Oh, I don't love that I'm going in the basement in a Roblox game. Okay. Do you guys play Roblox? Like, is this a game that you guys play regularly? All right. We're in the back rooms right now. Somebody told me this was a good map to go to. The back rooms, I know people are scared of it, but not I. I am not afraid of the back rooms whatsoever. I'm a little afraid that I can't find where I'm going right now. Oh! What? Did I just hear... Oh! <gasps> Oh my God, customize. Okay, so this is where things can get bad. So I can go, for instance, um, oh, I have no Rob Roblox, Robux. So we can make my guy pretty hefty, tall, stallion, steamboat willy, very cute. Do I have any Robux? I don't think I have any. In the Philippines in 1981, a presidential decree issued by Ferdinand Marcos basically outlawed pinball and any type of gambling or like slot machines. And so pinball was included. So we're gonna play pinball, specifically the type of pinball that was banned in the Philippines to see if it's actually super bad. Okay, so if you've never played pinball before, I mean, what are you doing? Pinball is just one of the GOATS games. So the ball goes down and then you just hit it. The reason why this game, I guess, was um, banned is because you could see you accrue points and points can be misconstrued as like gambling because you're like garnering points and the points can be exchanged for like money or like real life money. Okay. And you can only lose when it goes behind you or right down that hatch in the middle. So for instance, I've never actually lost pinball before. I've always quit before I've lost. And then there's bonuses you can get up top. See if you get like the full spelling, just let it bounce around. It's a very relaxed, chill game. Now there's some strategy to it. Let me show you guys something. If you've ever played pinball, look at this. So you could stop the ball like this, let it go down, bop. And then you can kind of like time your hit a bit. So that's one of the pro tips. See, look at that from um, an elite pinball player. I've been doing this for years and years. There used to be a game on the computer called pinball. I don't know if that's fascinating. Okay, I lost. So that's the first time I've ever lost. At least we all saw it. But this game is banned. So if you're in the Philippines, I'm sorry that you had to watch this. Okay, so next up we have Pokemon Silver. And this game was banned in Saudi Arabia because it's anti-Islamic and promotes gambling. And also the abuse of animals. Which honestly, all those are pretty fair points. Okay, so I mean, this is a classic game. It's a shame that the Saudi Arabians will never play this. However, all right, here we go. I'm definitely not using an emulator. I'm using a Game Boy. As I should be, right? Gear is back. All right, here you go. Oh, I got Pokey Gear. Nice. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Mom. All right, Mom. Thank you. You're embarrassing me. Okay, Mom. Time to embark on my adventure as a Pokemon trainer because this is a rare thing and I can't do this in Saudi Arabia. Pick one. Okay. Do you want Totodile, the water Pokemon? No. Think it over. Don't worry. I did. Nobody ever wants Totodile. Oh, do I like Chick- I do like Chikorita, but I don't want Chikorita because I know where this is going and I'm a fire guy. So guess what? I'm going to go with Cyndaquil. You'll take Cyndaquil. Yes, I will. Thank you. I think that's a great Pokemon too. Thank you. Receive Cyndaquil. Good. Time to battle. We are officially out and about. Let's go into the grass. Back and forth because this is how you find the Pokemon. All right, and here's the sacrilegious animals getting, uh, I mean, it is kind of like animal fighting, so it is kind of messed up. So Pidgey versus Cyndaquil. If I lose, I keep playing. If I win, I defeated the game. So I'm going to use Tackle. 
How do you miss? Oh my gosh! And now we're gonna be done for. And we're both kind of weak, so it's really not in either of our favors to uh, to miss because this is gonna take a long time in that sense. Okay, let's just hammer tackle. Give me a critical hit once in a while. Oh no. Okay, I'm on ten. I can't miss this. That should be it. Curtains. I love like early wins because watch, I'm gonna like level up just from that. Hey look, I got like half of an EXP bar. All right, that's Pokemon Silver, which is banned in Saudi Arabia because of a lot of reasons. Okay, this next game is Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, which is banned in the United Arab Emirates, likely because of suggestive costumes on the characters. I don't know what that means. I don't know what we're about to see, but I purchased this game for $9 off of Steam and it feels like it's gonna be another anime game, which I'm kind of looking forward to. I think they're generally fun. All right, let's see how bad this could be. Okay, so let's go to the opening for Litchi. It's a fun name. Litchi Stories Excuse. Okay. Dr. Feeling. What is it, Linwa? Oh. Is it here? Oh, I see why this is going to be banned. Okay. I think we need to um, select somebody else's story because that was a bit too provocative. So how about we go ahead and go to Rachel? I'm bored. Okay. You look good. You look good. Meaning like you look like you know, safe for work. You're SFW. And there's definitely still some more left. So let's look at Carl. Carl looks to be a girl. So I'm assuming it's the girls that have the revealing costumes on. It would be pretty bad if it was the guys. Then it would definitely be Ben. Good morning, sis. Okay, I just, I thought that Noel or whatever his name is was a girl. Looks like he's a guy. My bad. Carl. Sorry, Carl. All right, so by the looks of this, there's really not much outside of Litchi. And no, I'm not going back because I want to see it. I'm going back because I'm doing research. And I just want to make sure it's Ben and for the right reasons, yep. It's Dr. Faley. Don't look up Dr. Faley. Dr. Faley's uh, wearing something that nobody should really be looking at. All right, well, now we know. So now I feel more versed on uh, Emirati politics. Next up, we have a game that might be the most banned game of all time. It's banned in Russia, China, Indonesia, Kuwait, Malaysia, Pakistan, Peru, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Singapore, Turkey, the UAE, and the Ukraine. And it's called Tell Me Why. And the reason why it's banned is because it contains a transgender protagonist, which the governments of these countries felt was inappropriate to be shown to kids. Okay, tell me why, press any button. I don't know who is transgender out of these two people, so I guess we're gonna find out. I went to show her my haircut. Okay, looks all right. Not the best. She had a gun. She freaked out. Okay. I... I... It's okay. What'd you do? No, it's not. It's not okay. My mom tried to... So... Don't say you so did I it. I stabbed her. I... My mother... What? You killed your mother? How am I supposed to be on your side here? She tried to kill you? Innocent until proven guilty. I believe in justice, the law of the land. Okay, so I think this is our transgender protagonist. Uh, or maybe, I don't know, maybe they both are. Again, I don't know the lore behind this. How about we take this photo of you at prom? Turn it over. Every time I look at it, it reminds me of how very single I am. All right, we don't need your internal dialogue, trust me. We have mine, that's why I'm commentating. Okay, yeah, let's leave this. So I'm looking for a key. I just want to advance a little bit so I could figure out which character is transgender so we could see why this game is banned. Let's exit this house. Goodbye. I have a feeling that it's Tyler who is the transgender one, so... I can't believe I'm about to leave this room for the last time. Okay, well, me either, but we're leaving. Where's your door? Okay, here's the meetup. First time we see each other in 10 years, and it's hi, Tyler. Mm, what do you want her to say? Sorry, I... It's fine, Allison. Hi is a good place to start. The first thing you say to her in 10 years, though, is that you're criticizing her for saying hi. All right, so that game that we just played or watched is basically banned in every single country. I know what you're thinking. There's no way that a game could be banned in the United States. Well, you would be wrong because the game Splatterhouse was actually banned in the U.S. because of a ton of and excessive violence, as well as references to Christian symbols like the cross. So this game was made in Japan, but I was able to get my hands on this. So let's see just how bad this is. It's for use exclusively in Japan. We're getting a warning here. The sale export of use may be in violation of international crimes. Okay. Okay, here we go. Ooh, there, ooh. So I'm like Jason wearing a hockey mask, but there's already just like zombies being impaled. He has a machete. Oh, I did not expect that. It's kind of crazy that a game was banned in the United States, right? What about freedom 
of speech, freedom of expression, freedom of gaming. I'm all about that. And this game, uh, I guess, you know, in the 90s, it was kind of a shock, probably. Another game banned in the United States is called Thrill Kill. You'll see right here that before the game starts, it says contains extremely graphic and violent scenes and subject matter. You must be at least 17 years old to play. You must not find images of adults engaged in violent acts to be offensive or objectionable. To which that I say, play ball. Please switch the power off on your PlayStation. So you'll see that I clicked no, meaning that like, oh, I'm not okay with it. And then they're telling me to power down my PlayStation. That's how bad this game is. So let's go back into it. All right, here we go with Thrill Kill. Let's see how bad this game actually is. If the United States is banning it, I mean, you know it to be pretty bad. Who should I play as? Who's gonna give us the worst experience? Ooh, maybe Cletus. Looks like some inbred. Let's play with Cletus here. Kind of nervous for this one. I don't know why they would have banned this in the US. Anytime I see that, I mean, we'll start turning. Something must be up with this game. I trust the government. Okay, here we go. Round one. Oh my God, Cletus, what are you doing? Cletus, that's disgusting. So this is like Super Smash Bros. The mammoth is like Donkey Kong. Cletus is just some disgusting dude. And what is going on in the background, that picture? Oh my gosh. And why is like the imp, like the devil, why is he on uh, stilts? All right, Cletus, I think is doing some damage right now. Okay, I don't know how I'm sweeping the, the imp and he's not falling. Oh, nice. What? Nice, get him. Oh, there we go, Cletus. Cletus, here we go. What are you, is this like, are you powered up right now? Hit, hit the mammoth. Yeah, I want the mammoth out of here. So it's like Mortal Kombat. There's gonna be like finishers, yeah. I mean, it's very bloody. What is blood in the 90s? You know, a little bit of red pixels. Oh, I see. So we got rid of the mammoth and now it's just us three. So now I could just focus on destroying these guys. Oh no, you guys are done. You just accept your fate. You guys are done. Who should I go for? Let's go for you first. Bye-bye, buddy. E. Ah. Eee, okay, Cletus. You don't gotta do all that. Me versus Violet. Here comes Cletus. Oh no, Cletus. It is over for you. I'm sorry, Violet. We should also blur that because I think there's some nudity in this game, even though it's low pixels. Oh my. Ah, Cletus. No more matches. Okay. This game is banned and I think for good reason. So I wouldn't touch this game. This next game is called Death Race and it was the first video game to ever be banned in 1976 in the United States because it was the first game that featured pedestrians getting ran over by cars. So we're going to go ahead and play rookie mode on this. I mean, you can equip with guns and everything in this game. I'm not in the business of modifying my car though. And I know what you're thinking, Sam, how is this banned? Look at these graphics. There's literally no possible way, but you'd be wrong because apparently a lot of people took issues with this. Okay, so here I am. And the thing that's bannable, and I'll tell you something funny is that, so look, these little like spy kid thumbs, like that's what they look like. Look at this. Bam, splat, ran over. Who wants to get ran over? So the purpose of the game isn't even to win a race. It's just to literally run over these people. So like, this is a terrible zone for these guys. I'm sorry. Somebody's getting ran over. Maybe it's gonna be me. There we go. Two people eyeing down. Arr! Bye bye. All right, so that is precisely why it was banned. Cause again, it incentivized people to commit vehicular manslaughter. But interestingly, hold on. I have to say the rest of this. Oh my gosh. The developers of the game actually got it back on the market because since it's so pixelated, you can't tell if they're actually humans. And so they, they made the case that they're just skeletons that escaped from a graveyard. And then the game was reinstated. Cause they're like, okay, I guess that could be true. Like we have no idea what those things could be. I guess they aren't humans. And then voila, the game is now back. And that's why I'm playing it but it was banned for a long time. And it is in a sense still banned. Okay, I'm kind of done with this. What is this thing chasing me? How do I even kill it? Okay, fine, kill me. You want to kill me? If you really want to kill me that badly, I'll just let you do it, okay? Next up is a game that is banned in Saudi Arabia because of graphic violence and potential nudity. We'll see how that goes. It'll be blurred, of course, if we see it. I don't know what this game is about, but I'm excited to see some violence. Uh, to interact, hold left click and move the mouse to make the indicated movement. Okay, yep, easy enough. Now, what can be so bad that Saudi Arabians cannot see this with their own two eyes? Wow, he does, he drags his feet when he walks. Oh, that is very realistic. Oh my gosh. What is that cutaway scene? Tuesday, 6 a.m.? I guess it's midnight. We are about to see something so graphic, so disgusting, it's going to blow your socks off. I do not like how this is the loading screen. So let's go into here. Knock, knock. It's detective. Lord Winter. Sorry, I only see clients by appointment. Wait. Oh, forceful entry. Oh. It's 50 bucks. I don't kiss and I don't do any words. Fine by me. Oh my God, my guy's a freak. He's in the red light district right now. Should I even engage with this? I guess we're about to see why it's banned. Okay. Scott Shelby, please don't be a perv. My name is Scott Shelby. I'm a private detective. The families of the victims of the origami killer asked me to investigate the murders. Okay, so I think there's two reasons why this game is banned already. Probably the profanity and then probably her profession. Well, if you remember anything, the smallest detail. 
Give me a call. Take your money back. You're there for like two seconds. <laughs> oh my gosh. His asthma. Oh, is that the killer? Oh no. Oh, let's confront him. What do you want? Oh. Lauren, is everything all right? She's just swell. Now beat it, loser. Oh no, we will not be. Yeah, that's right, Scott. Bang on that door. You again? Oh. There we go. Knock him out. Oh. Punch him. Oh. I'm, I'm missing all my cues. It's a long fight sequence. Dodge it. Dodge it. Take him off. Okay. Yes. There we go, Scott. I'll see you again. Oh, we fended him off. Let's go. All right. Well, that's the end of the demo. So that game is banned in a couple of places, mainly Saudi Arabia. And I'm sure you could see why. Lots of violence. Fun game, though. This next game is banned in the United States and it's called Active Shooter. It was later renamed to Standoff and it's banned in the United States because let's just say the footage is a little too realistic. And this game was pulled off of Steam, so I can't even play it for you guys. We're going to look at some gameplay so you can understand, I guess, how crazy this actually is that this stuff exists. So it's uh, the premise of the game is what it sounds like. You go and to a school okay there's the news anchor it's just putting himself into frame right here but yeah the goal is to just go into a school and just wreak havoc and just become an active shooter so i just want to be abundantly clear what you're looking at is a video game yep and you just go around the school go through windows and you can just shoot people and students and it, i mean it's a really a nasty game so it's i'm glad that this game doesn't exist they say that video games promote violence i don't think so but a game like that i think takes a little too far next up we have one of the world's most popular games PUBG, which is players unknown battleground and this is banned in Afghanistan, Iraq, Nepal, India, Pakistan and a couple of more countries mainly because of the violence and they don't want the kids to be exposed to delinquency and then in the case of India it's banned for security reasons because the game is created by China. Okay so I a classic white guy. So what's so bad about this game? Why can't the kids play it? Black Hasbula is going to be my avatar here. So this is PUBG. PUBG kind of looks like Fortnite. I don't, I'm not going to learn all this. Come on you know you don't think that I could jump barriers? I've I've played games like this before. And how do I interact with this? Oh, jump over the terrain. I can't read. That's kind of embarrassing. I, I don't understand. Jump over the terrain. Jump over the terrain. Okay. There we go. You can crouch. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. All right, so let's go here. Bam. Unlock this. Move to the location. Okay. Yes, now we're firing guns. Magazines, this, 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 this. Okay, here we go. Look, where do you want me to shoot? Bird. There's no ammunition. Okay, that's embarrassing. There we go. What do you want me to hit? Where's the birds? There's the birds. Here we go. Going duck hunting. All right, puppy. Can you just put me into a match? Do I really need to learn how to play throwable weapons? You're saying grenades. That's what we're talking, right? Equip the grenades. Throw it in the practice area. Pew. Let's check it out. Oh, I forgot that I just threw one right there. Here, right there. Nice and easy. Just a little bit. Nice. All right, I'm done with this. Leave training. Put me into a match, coach. I'm ready. I've been ready. I've been ready for as long as I've been playing this game. I was just fooling around. You know I've played this before. Come on now. You must complete in order to play. I'm not doing that. All right, so PUBG is just banned. Just trust me. I'm not going through all this training. Not, not that I can't do it. You know I can do it. You just saw I put on a clinic right there. It's mainly because... Okay, I, I, okay, I can. Fine. So this next game is banned in the United States. It's called The Guy Game, and it's not banned for the reason you may think so obviously you're going to see some people on the left and right and these avatars right here that are a little too nsfw let's just say but the reason why it's banned is there's actually a 17 year old that is used which obviously we're not going to be showing to you guys and so if you own the game you're technically in possession of cp and if you don't know what cp is it's not club penguin and so they released the game and there's nudity in the game and so there's basically a 17 year old which of course is illegal so so obviously i didn't want to download the game because i didn't want to be in possession of this illegal game because this game's like actually illegal it's like you can't own this but for whatever reason youtube currently has a clip up of this guy i don't know his name i'm not trying to out him he was streaming it on twitch so this is the uh, only footage we have of this game so basically how this game works is they ask these girls trivia questions and if they get them right then everything's good and they can keep going and if they get it wrong they have to flash the camera so i mean this is banned for a lot of reasons so there you go we're obviously gonna blur all of that but yeah so that's the guy game. Don't look that up. Next up, we have a Steam game that's 
banned in New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE, and it's called Gal Gun Double Peace. The reason why it's banned is because it tends to promote and support the exploitation of children and young people and the use of coercion to compel a person to submit a blank conduct. And you're going to see what this is all about because I bought it. So based on the banner, you're probably saying to yourself, Sam, why is this banned? It looks harmless. Looks like an anime. Looks like I'm watching some like Japanese game, but stay tuned because this is pretty bad. All right, so here we have Gal Gun. Let's start the game. Kind of nervous. Gal Gun Double Peace. What kind of person am I? So you could be a pervert in this game. I feel like if we want to explore the true banned game, then we should probably play as the pervert. So a typical young man whose mind is filled with all kinds of weird, naughty thoughts, not very popular with most girls. On second thought, maybe we shouldn't be because I feel like this game is like young girls. So let's be a bookworm. Just wants to do his homework. Is this person not a type okay? Yes, of course it is. Looks like he doesn't have a lot of athleticism, but his intelligence is super high and that's all that matters. My name is Hudai Kudoki and I'm a second year student at Tsukurozaki Academy. There's a legend at this academy. I say legend, but it only happened last year. It's kind of a widespread rumor. Most people call it the super popular legend. But on that alleged day, I had food poisoning and was off sick, so I didn't see what happened. This one senpai, which just means like uh, an older person. I didn't really know him. Suddenly became really popular with all the girls, or so they say. Tons of girls confessed their feelings for him, but the end, he confessed to a girl he'd like for ages. They became a couple. That's not the only weird thing. People say that senpai saw an angel who flew up into the sky after he confessed his love. Now people say that if you see an angel at the academy, then you'll become super popular too. Or you could end up in a couple with the one you love. All right, it's beautiful. All right, so there's like a romance god somewhere in this land. Excuse me. Oh no, this might be her. Are you interested in the military? What? I wonder this game's banned in New Zealand. You guys are like pacifists, right? I'm too young to enlist. Just who are you anyways? Are you a student here? Why is my guy being so... Where's your Riz game? First year student, Pataku. Okay, so let's just in our minds, just remember that she's 13 years old. It's my dream to establish the military club. What kind of aspirations are you getting at here? Senpai, are you interested in the military? Why is my guy saying no? I feel like I should have some say in this. Udai, are you seriously hitting it off on first years? You're absolutely shameless. I'm not. I just denied her request. Ah, she, Shinobu. Ohio, good morning. Don't think that's it because I like you. I just want to tell you something. My little sister Maya came back yesterday. What's up, Maya? Long time no see, Maya-chan. You're so tall now. Thank you. I've grown a lot too. Okay, great. When is the gameplay? Seems he's growing apart from those sisters. I hope the angels bless you with their power. Thank you. Save the details for tomorrow. Okay, so I think it's just like a role-playing game. I don't think I actually have any say in what I do here. It literally feels like I'm watching an anime. He's never been in a relationship, a real portrait of a stereotypical, indecisive, lame guy. What's with all the hate to my guy? So is this like she's the man? Like she has to basically like get me to go to prom with her because I'm the ugly dude? Oh, so she's like Cupid. This is like Japanese Valentine's Day, this game. Oh no, that's the demon. Okay, so there's like heaven and hell. Don't forget Akuru-chan. If your score isn't good, you'll be doing one yourself this winter. Oh, so she's like on the verge of being a student herself. Just shoot me with your gun. Yeah, shoot me, shoot me, shoot me. Oh no, I see why this game is gonna be bad. He's gonna have full testosterone brewing now. Don't tell me he becomes a massive Chad. Is this why the game's banned? I know it's because of this. Let's see what happens here. Okay, who die? Here you go. Oh man, what happened? I need to tell you, I really like you, Hudai Khan. Please be my boyfriend. Say what? Hold it right there. You might be my senpai, but I won't let you steal him from me. So now he's got all the girls. Did I hit my head or something? Could it be the super popular legend? Calm down for a second. You're overflowing with fascination. Look very carefully. That right there is a girl's weak spot. Okay, so the premise of this game is Hudai gets shot with an arrow from Cupid. You really need me to explain this? Okay, let's start with the pheromone shot. To shoot, move the target around with the left stick. Okay, so it's like a Mario Party minigame. Successfully shoot the girls to bring them to a state of euphoria and you'll earn moti moti points. <laughs> Such a Japanese game. If there's a reaction when this site hovers over a spot, that's their weak spot. This is definitely gonna be a weird game, so I'm only gonna aim for the head. We're not going anywhere close. Oh, we should probably um, blur this. I understand all the directions. This is probably the final time I will be ever playing this game because this looks like potentially pretty bad. Bam, you fall in love with me. You fall in love with me. Again, you, quick bonus. Okay, you get it. Hello, Ron Jimeno. You get it as well. Here you go. Good job. All right, you ladies can continue walking. Get to class. Yep. There we go. What'd I say? I see why this game is banned because this is just like the wildest game I've ever played. Just an interactive game where this kid is just hit with an arrow. Now everybody falls in love with him. I'm too old to be playing this game, frankly. In addition to it being banned, so if you're in New Zealand, I'm sorry. If you're in the Middle East, I'm sorry. I'm also too old to be playing this, so I'm gonna tap out on that, but at least we saw a little bit of footage. Now we have Manhunt 2, and this game is literally censored in 90% of the world. Like every single country, with the exception of a few, either banned this game or they just really, really censored it. The the reason being is, I mean, I'm sure you could tell is this little thumbnail right here, but it's because of the graphic violence and it's actually quite a lot. Like I just pulled up a random timestamp in the video and I'm sure we're gonna see something pretty gruesome within the first couple of seconds. 
Okay, that was, like, I'm not even kidding. I just, that's just how that went. Like, I just clicked on a random part of that said best friends. I thought it was cool. It's just a recurring theme. This is just how these things go. So this game is made by Rockstar, and people seem to really enjoy the game, but there's a lot of things to it that uh, aren't great. So here, here's a pretty gruesome death that happened right there. Okay, and then you'll just see, like, this is what he's going to do with the body. Enter the right amount of sugar. So what, he's gonna do something to the body? Yeah, see? It's just really gruesome. It's like Mortal Kombat level kill. You know, see, he's just shredded up completely and he comes out into a rock. That's like the theme of the game. Like, it's just very uh, creatively violent, which is bannable in a lot of countries. I would say by far the worst video game that deserves to be banned in every single country because it is, is a game called play and it's a Japanese game and the premise of it is so disturbing. It's just basically these girls on public transportation get and assaulted by this guy and then he continues kind of like going through and like chronicling like other that he does on these other girls so it's a really i mean just it's disgusting i'll just show you some very brief gameplay leading up to obviously the bad parts it's just insane that people sat down and developed this game so those are the three victims and so effectively what happens here is here she is on the subway and then it gets to a point where yeah you just like look at the girl and then yeah you can obviously look at some pretty bad areas on her body and then you can make a yeah i, I don't want to show you guys anything more. I feel like I'm already pushing the boundaries, but this game's disgusting. The Japanese developers who made this, I'm pretty sure they were like questioned by law enforcement. They had to obviously pull this game off of all of platforms. And so this game is actually banned worldwide. So you can't get access to this game because I mean, it's effectively simulator. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to click here, click here. Otherwise, subscribe on your way out and I'll see you next time. Peace.